Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Hello and welcome to Fusion Mobile e-learning class. My name is Fayo Mikendi and this is English Language. Today we are going to be taking a look at a particular topic under continuous writing and this topic is record keeping. Record keeping. What do we mean by record keeping? Record keeping is an account of something. A record is an account of something that is written and kept so that it can be referred to and used in future. It is a proof that something happened or that an activity took place. It is permanent because it is a written document that can be kept indefinitely. An activity or an event that is not written is likely to be forgotten or tampered with. In other words, a record keeps the information about an activity or an event intact. When it is referred to in the future, it remains in its original form. We have two major types of record keeping. We have the physical records and the digital records. The physical records are those records that can be seen and touched. They include documents, they include ledgers, they include the results of an examination or the grading of an examination, the plan or blueprint of a building, they include certificates, legal forms, personal diaries, etc., etc. The digital records are records stored electronically in devices such as CD-ROMs, flash disk, flash drives, magnetic tapes, etc. The information kept in this type of record is generated through electronic devices such as computers and phones. Example of places where this kind of uh, record keeping can be found are offices, website information, electronic malls, and etc. Unlike the physical records, electronic records cannot be touched. They can only be seen by the use of electronic devices such as the computer. Some records are stipulated by law. A school is expected to keep records of students that they have. A school is expected also to have a register. An organization or a government agency should keep a staff record by creating a file for each member of the staff containing his or personal documents. Physical records should be properly stored to avoid loss and destruction by water, rodent, or insects. Electronic records should also be well kept where antivirus software should be installed in the computer system to prevent the information being infected and subsequent loss of electronic records. The computer should be put in a neat and well-ventilated environment. The next thing we are going to be treating are the importance of keeping records. We have a few listed here which we are going to read out to us. Let us pay attention. Keeping records help in planning. The information recorded helps in planning for the future, whether it is in whether it is for an individual or an organization. Since it is permanent, it can serve as a reference point. Record keeping helps in making guiding decisions. Successes and failures recorded can serve as a guide, guide for the future. In a business venture, record keeping helps to know whether the business is profitable or not. For example, a record of the capital invested in a business 
the overhead cost, staff salary, utility bills, e.g., I mean, example, electricity, water, and other expenses will enable the investor to know the profit made or the loss incurred. Record keeping also makes people accountable. A record of financial transaction will expose a fraudulent officer. It is a crime, it is a criminal offense to falsify or alter a record. It is a criminal offense to falsify or alter a record. A few questions are going to pop up on your screen for you to attempt on record keeping. If you find any difficulties in answering these questions, please endeavor to review the video once again and update yourself.